Hi everyone, Kate here with Ide Bailey Technology Consulting, and today I'm going to show you how to use accounts payable to apply outstanding credits to invoices in Sage 100. Don't you hate it when you're looking at your accounts payable aged invoice report and you notice that you have a positive transaction that's offset by a negative transaction? So your ending balance is right, but you've got these two little friends here that just keep aging out and you, and you want to get rid of them. You can also see that when you look at vendor maintenance, you've got your positive transaction and your negative transaction, and you just want them to get together and be happy. So to do that, we want to go to Accounts Payable, the main folder, Manual Check and Payment Entry. Check or select your default bank code, and then for your check number, you want to start it with APP, which is short for Apply. And then you want to use a three-digit number, like 001, if this is your first one. Your check date is the date that they're actually going to be applied together. And then your vendor number should go there. Notice that the check amount is zero, and it's grayed out. That tells you that um, Sage 100 knows what you're trying to do. So if you click on the Lines tab, you can either do the look up here and find your negative and your positive transactions, or you can use the multiple selection grid and select them at the same time. Either way, we want to make sure that our total selected is zero. We click OK. This one's trying to apply a discount, so we want to zero that out so that our check distribution balance is zero and our payment total is zero. Once that's the case, we can click Accept, and we'll post this. It's taking our two on-file transactions and squishing them together to give us a zero um, balance impact. When we close this, notice there's no impact on the general ledger, which is good. And do you want to update? Yes, we do. We're going to save the daily transaction register because we know it's zero. So now when we look at that vendor, we look at the invoices tab, we can see that there's no balance for either of those transactions. And when we rerun our aging report, yay, they're gone. That's how you use accounts payable to apply credits to invoices in Sage 100. And as always, if you have any questions, our team is here to help. Click the link below to get in touch.